Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Prism Baseball. Six box, half case, pick your team number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. You remember that we had popped open that first case to do random team one. And we uh, marked the boxes two right here. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the breaks. Um, these four people right here with the little rooftops next to your name, that means you got that in that spot random for pick your team number one. And thanks to everybody else for grabbing spots too. There are the combo teams, Diamondbacks, Mets, Reds, Marlins. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Eight times, two and a six. One, two, three. And eighth and final time. We got David Duffy all the way down to David Hewton, the Davids. What's up, John? How's it going? Eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. After eight times, we've got the Oakland A's all the way down to the Reds-Marlins combo. Good luck. Good luck, good luck. All right. David Duffy, A's, Robert, K with the Red Sox, Jarrett with the Astros, Peter, you got my Dodgers, David Bruins with the Rockies, Ryan L with the Royals, Victor with the Nats, Patrick K, we got, uh, you got the Tigers, Rashad with the Indians, James with the Cubs, Stephen K, White Sox, Greg with the Mariners, Barry with the Rays and the Padres, Ryan L with the Twins, Stephen R, Rodnicki, you got the Orioles, Todd with the Cardinals, Ryan L with the Yankees, Last Spot Mojo, Robert with the Pirates, Stephen Rushing with the Blue Jays, Mark Madison with the Bravos, the Braves, Karen with the Phillies, Derek with the Rangers, Randall with the Giants, Jay Tinney with the Diamondbacks and the Mets combo, Ryan L with the Angels, Jay with the Brewers, David Hute with the Reds and the Marlins combo. Trades are allowed if you want to. Let's announce the, or announce these. Let's alphabetize these. By team name. Any trades? Feel free to trade if you like. I'll give it a couple moments. All the supplies that I need here, right? Yeah, got my knife, top loaders, penny sleeves, pens if I need it. No? Yes? No? All right, TWC, trade window closed. Let's pop these boxes. Oh, oh, let's print that list, too. Congrats to Sam S., by the way. He uh, just graduated with his teaching degree. He's going to do a post-graduation vacay in Florida. Teaching history and coaching basketball. Coaching who? We're always about the knowledge here, Sam. So nicely done. All right. There you go. Drew Kerr caught up on Pick Your Team 1. Missed the last few boxes. Appreciate some of the awesome hits. No worries. Thanks for getting in. We can do Pick Your Team 2 tonight, folks. But we got to fill it in the next hour or so. Because we are kind of running out of time. Remember, these breaks uh, take a little while. Nice, Sam. Well, feel free to check in and, and watch while you're on vacay, too. Take Jaspies anywhere. As long as you have a YouTube app. So pick your team two, ladies and gentlemen, is a full case break. It takes about an hour, 20 minutes or something like that. It takes a little time, a little amount of time. So that's down to 13 teams. We can fill it and do it tonight. We have time to do it tonight. But we do have a bit of a deadline just because it takes so long. So just keep that in mind, folks. If you want to do it, get into it. If you don't want to do it, well, we got half case random teams like the one we're doing now. 
So Random Team 3, which is on the site right now, is from a fresh case. I saw some people grab spots in, uh, if you want to really switch gears, in NT Football and in NT Collegiate Football. That's a half case Random Team break. Only 15 spots left on that. would really love to do that tonight. Baker Bounty and the Contenders Football. We even got some hoops on the site, a basketball mixer, and Upper Deck Supreme Hard Court. And you can pre-order Spectra, which drops on Friday. There's AJ Pollock, who got an infection in his elbow, his surgically repaired elbow, really bad one apparently. He was in the emergency room and all that, but he's on heavy antibiotics and he's apparently better. Better getting better now. Connor Sadzek, 75 for the Rangers. That'll be for Derek Williams. Who's hoping for some more hot boxes here? Me too. Tim Lincecum. Remember Tim Lincecum? 44 out of 99. We got Isaac Galloway out of 299. And Travis Shaw to 199. And we'll sleeve and top load those before before they go out, of course, before they get sorted out. We got Yoan Mankata to 299 for the White Sox. We got Ronald Acuna Jr. Mojo refractor to 3.99. And there's our first autograph, Scott Barlow, 15 out of 99, rookie zebra parallel, an autograph. Going to KC, Ryan L. on the board. Edwin Encarnacion to two ninety nine. Manny Machado for the Padres to one fifty. We got Tyler Mail Molly Molly Maley. 399, I've heard it pronounced various ways. I think it's Maley. Sam S. asking, you've noticed that autos are mainly rookies. Why do they do that and not the vets? Because vets don't want to sign as much. And they cost more. Ryan Messinger. Like, why not... Uh, why doesn't football product have just tons of Tom Brady autos left and right in there, right? Everyone wants Tom Brady, right? But Tom Brady charges a lot. It's too expensive to put in every set. Like a uh, three ninety nine Scooter's Net. Oh, sorry. And there's Brandon Lau. Nice rookie auto for the Tampa Bay Rays. He's been having a nice season. Goes to Barry Swisher. So that's why you don't see a lot of vet autos. And I think by the time you're a veteran, you can, you have the leverage, I think, or power to be like, eh, I don't feel like doing it. I don't have to. <laughs> they can just decline. So. So it's not like Panini's like, well, wait, let's 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 short everybody a Yelich autograph. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let let's short everyone the NL MVP. No, it's just maybe you didn't want to do it. They didn't want to make him a redemption or whatever. No one likes redemptions either. Maybe it was too expensive for this set. I don't know. But it's usually it's usually that. So that's why you're you're gonna see rookie autos a lot more than than vet autos.
I think that's generally what carries more future value anyway. That's that's what that's what people that's what people want to see, you know. That's what carries most future value. No. Yeah, like Punisher Prime said, no, we have not seen any Vlad Jr. autographs yet. We've seen, we've seen Fernando Tatis Jr. We saw Vlad Jr. in the in the baseball mixer we did earlier today, but none yet in Prism. Yeah, I know you have the Blue Jays in this one. Good luck, man. All right, box two of this half case break. There's Jake Cave, three ninety nine. Here's Dal Lugo to 150. Shaq's getting a Barkley sucks chant going on inside the NBA. It's great. Sal Perez to 399. And we've got Justin Smoke to 299. We got Rosel Herrera to three ninety nine. There's Jonathan Davis. I saw I saw Toronto, and I immediately thought Flag Guerrero Jr. No, that goes to Stephen Rushing though on the board, Steve. There you go, Chris Maxwell. Good man, what a mensch. Said he bought two teams, two spots in two thousand eighteen NT Collegiate to goose it along. Nice. Who's next? That's just that's been sitting there for a while. There's Chris Davis, Chris with a K, to two ninety nine. We've got Daniel Ponce de Leon to one fifty. We got Corey Dickerson. To 199. Sam's gonna wait until single digits. Man, it, I'll bet everyone's thinking that. I'll wait for it to go into single digits and watch. We probably have enough people to break it. And a 299, Ricky Henderson. And there's Jonathan Lucroy, A's edition. Actually been hitting pretty well for the Angels these days, but this one goes to Oakland. Danny Duffy, who got the uh, who got this spot in the random team break from a spot random. And we've got Roman Quinn, pro penmanship autograph to 10. Karen got randomized the Phillies. Five out of ten. There's Toussaint to three ninety nine. David Fletcher to two ninety nine. And there's Rob Meow. All right, halfway through. Well, after this box, we'll be halfway through this half case break. Oh, I'm calling everybody out that's thinking like that, Sam. Not just you specifically. You just happen to be. You just happen to be the example. But everyone, we everyone needs to be like Chris Maxwell, boys and girls. That mo that momentum. You do that. That momentum can build, and next thing you know, we'll be in Breaksville. We've got, what, 43 people watching the show right now. That's more than enough. Even if only half of those people were able to buy into Breaks, right? Maybe the other half are just spectators. That's fine. That's still 20-some-odd people. 
Now, if, if those 20 people, let's say half of those people, were interested in NT collegiate football, could be, or at least their arm could be twisted into NT collegiate football, that's about 10 people. If each one of those people bought a spot each, we'd bring it down to two, now that Sam brought it down to 12, right? That's my thinking anyway. There's the link in the chat. Two box break. Checklist is in the item description if you want to check that out. Next box, another three autographs. Good luck, boys and girls. What am I watching here? What's on TNT? Forgot to change the channel after the basketball game. Luis Severino, Zebra to 99. Robin Yount to 399 for the Brewers. And Luis Urias, 70 out of 99, Zebra autograph for the Padres. Barry Swisher with the Friars. I'm seeing sports cars. There's Trevor Story to 399. Is this a Fast and the Furious movie? There's Mo Mariano Rivera to 299 and Alex Bregman for the Astros to 299. We got George Springer to 299 and Jalen Beeks to 150. There's Nolan Arenado to 199 and Justice Sheffield for the Mariners to 150. His brother, Jordan, is in the uh, Dodgers organization, another pitcher. little bit here. Oh, nice. Thanks, Sam. Rangers won? I did have financial interest in the Rangers. I feel like that game should have been over ages ago. No, they won 6-1. There you go. Nice. So now I am three for two on the day. Not bad. I'll take, I'll take that. What are the Dodgers doing right now? They've got a 2 nothing lead on the Padres. There's JT Real Muto to 60. There's Max Muncy to 299. Muncy not in the lineup today. Oh, no worries, Stephen Rushing. That was nice. That Dwayne Haskins helmet was nice. I like the, uh, I think there were Buckeye stickers all the other half of it, right? I thought that was a cool touch. Dakota Hudson is your next rookie auto going to. Who's got the Cardinals again? That'll be for Todd. Todd Reardon with, with the hated Cardinals. He's a Cubs guy. That, that'll make this hit easier to move, Todd. Easier, easier to sell. There's Tyler O'Neill to 299 and Colby Allard to 399. 
and watch whatever program this is. This is oh, Animal Kingdom. Oh, I heard that's actually a good show, isn't it? No, maybe. Let's go to. I don't. We don't get the Dodgers network here, but maybe MLB. Get some, get some quick pitch going on MLB Network. There's A-Rod, Mariners addition to 199, and all rise, Aaron Judge to 150. All right, there's G-Man Choi and Framber Valdez for the Astros. Jared K with the Strohs. Luis Urias to 299 and Ty Budry to 99. And Matt Chapman, gold. Five out of ten. That card is gold for David Duffy. And Kevin Newman to 199. There's Wade Boggs. Red Sox edition to 35, and there's Mookie Betts also for the Red Sox to 399. All right, now we are officially halfway through this half case break. Three boxes to go. Why do they cry? Oh, out of sadness? The, the good old days. Um, does prison baseball sell like prison basketball? No, I, I, I would say not. Arson, what's going on? Prison baseball is solid in its, in its own right. But it, it's not as, I mean, not a lot of product sells as well as basketball in general. Hoops, remember, there's just much smaller rosters. You know, there's no minor league system, no prospects, autos in there. So just kind of supply demand, you know, the basketball is just going to sell a little bit better in general. But like any other things, if you get Vlad Guerrero Jr., if you get one of ones, if you get out of fives, you get train whistle hits, you get Fernando Tatis, you get all the big name rookies, they're all going to... They're always going to sell pretty well on a secondary market, just like any other product. Hunter Renfro to 150. There's James Norwood to 399. Man, a one of one logo man, Luca, pulled and sold for 75000 Out of what? Flawless? NT? Or it flaws, I don't think Flawless Basketball is even out yet. NT? There's Javier Baez to 199. NT, wow. There's CD Pelham, rookie autograph. 
That goes to the Rangers. That'll be for Derek Williams. Derek on the board. Josh Donaldson to 299. Jaime Berea, silver. Barry Larkin to 399. Juan Soto to 299. John Lester to 399. Whoa, is that what I think it is? One out. Woo! Woo! There it is, Stephen Rushing. Vlad Guerrero Jr. autograph. Gold out of 10. That card is gold! One out of 10. Nice. Two home runs last time. Career home run number one last night. Career home run number two last night. That is strong. Hey, a beauty, says Stephen Russian. That's absolutely. There's Seaver out of 75. There's Jack Flaherty to 3.99, and there's my boy Caleb Ferguson, rookie auto, 28 out of 60. That's for the Dodgers. Peter Ang with my Dodgers. Luis Ortiz to 75. That's for the Orioles. Got Robin Yount to 199 for the Brew Crew. Trey Mancini. Josh James to 75 for the Astros. And two more boxes to go. Let's set that aside for, for picture time. Good luck, everybody. So far, so good. If you think about the first half of this case, and now this half of the case, this entire case, is overall, has been pretty strong. Some good stuff. So there's a, Sam is saying there's a blue parallel, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Buy it now for 130. What are the blues number two? Blue autos? Blue auto number two. I know the blue parallels here, just non-autos are not, are not numbered. There it is, so the blue auto, we had a Brandon Lau blue, blue auto, not numbered.
All right, good luck, everybody. Next box. Out of 75, Dontrell Willis, the D-Train. Nelson Cruz to 399. And Blake Trinan to 50. That snakeskin parallel, that looks really cool. There's Nick Kufo. I think they call that scope, right? It looks like spirograph. Remember spirographs when you were a kid? Nick Kufo for the race. That goes to Barry Swisher. Aaron Hicks at 399. Gilo says he saw a gold optic Vlad Jr. non autograph for 100 bucks. I don't know. Out of 10 is a nice number. I mean, I know I, I know people aren't huge on the on the non logos and stuff like that, but it should still sell pretty well. In spite of all that. There's Nomar Mazzara for the Rangers to 399. Rosel Herrera to 299 or Herrera. However you want to do it. There's Matt Barnes. Pro penmanship Matt Barnes. Robert K. There's Wilson Ramos for the Mets to 150. There's Adam Jones, I think still Orioles edition here to 199. And Pablo Lopez. Rookie, Marlins. Reds Marlins combo, David Hewton. Is there a guaranteed one of one in NT Collegiate? I don't remember. Wade Boggs, is it like that one per one printing plate per? There's Kluber. There's Nolan Arenado. We should do it though. I think a lot of people have been waiting, waiting for that one. Yeah, get him fired up. Out of 399, there's Oduble Herrera. Don Rapp saying Justin Turner got bean. It's four straight games? It's either that or he's going to hit dingers. All right, last box. Maeda seems to be cruising right now. Five and a third. He's given up only two hits. And 11 strikeouts. Well, who does he think he is? Chris Sale? I think he's also has accounts for the two runs scored in the game. Who do you think he is? Who did that the other day? DeGrom? Or was it Syndergaard who like who like had a complete game shutout? It was one nothing, and he hit like the solo home run to like win the game. 
Johnny is saying he's found a Vlad Jr. Zebra rookie auto out of 99 for $350. There you go. So that out of 10, man. Ooh, Stephen Rushing's feeling it. He's just like, I think there's going to be one more Vlad Guerrero Jr. autograph in here. Why not? There's Aaron Hicks again for the Yankees to 399. And there's Ryan Baruki, not exactly the Vlad Jr., but rookie pitcher. Opener, I think, sometimes he does, does openers. It's also for Stephen Rushing. Uh, yeah, there was, Jay. If you look at, the, uh, look at our list of videos that we uploaded for the day, you should see one. Did I not hit the publish button? Oh, I did not. All right, now it should be up. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Forgot to hit the publish button on that recap. Out of 299, Sean Manea. There's Michael Brantley to 399. James and Tyon to 150. We got old Kirby Puckett. Nice to 199. The team of the worst run differential in the expansion era since 1961. The 2003 Tigers at minus 337. Brutal. Matt Chapman to 299. I guess they're bringing this up because the Marlins have the worst run, or are on their way to having the worst run dif differential in history. Salvador Perez. We've got Abital, Avelino to 299. Ibital. JT Real Muto, Aaron Nola, Sandy Alcantara for the Marlins to 399. Should be two more autographs out of this box. Make some more room for myself here. There's Luke Weaver. Nice Luke Weaver. Game ball graphs for the Diamondbacks Mets combo. That goes to JT. And we've got a Hunter Dozier. Is that a bonus autograph? They were right next to each other. Pro penmanship autograph for the Royals. That goes to Ryan L. Let's see if that's a bonus autograph or if that was your third. There's Jeffrey Rodriguez to 399. Boom slang, no, I think we have not seen. I think we did see like a, a parallel hot box, but not an autograph hot box. We got Ronald Acuna Jr. to 75. That parallel for Mark Matheson and the Braves. There's Steven Gonsalves to 299. And there's Steven Gonsalves. Autographs. That's our fourth auto. I think that's a bonus auto. Did you guys break our website? There's Eddie Rosario to 199, and that is that. There you go. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Half Case Random Team 2, where, yes, we did pull a Vlad Guerrero Jr. autograph 
Yes, that is gold. That is out of 10. Strong. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.